Hey guys, we're gonna multiply some polynomials and I bet that just made you really happy to hear me say that. All right, pretend for a second these parentheses weren't here, we weren't multiplying. When you're adding or subtracting these, you have to find like terms, right? I would only be able to add the X's, the ones without X's, okay? When we are multiplying, we can multiply things that are not like terms, meaning I could not add X and 4X squared, but I can multiply them. Okay, so I am multiplying this parenthesis times this parenthesis. I need to make sure that this X gets multiplied to each of these terms. Same with the two. It needs to be multiplied to each one. Okay, so I like to use arrows. We got to multiply the X to the 4X squared to the 5X and to the negative 7. So when I do that, x times 4x squared is going to give me 4x cubed. x times 5x is going to give me a positive 5x squared. x times a negative 7 is going to give me a negative 7x. All right, it'd be cool if I was done, but I'm not. We can't forget about this too. This 2 needs to be multiplied times the 4x squared, times the 5x, and times the negative 7. Is this sometimes a long process? Sometimes it is. All right, 2 times 4x squared is going to give me a positive 8x squared. 2 times 5x is going to give me a positive 10x. And 2 times a negative 7 is going to give me negative 14. Okay, see how the blue came from that first term being multiplied? The red came from the second term being multiplied. All right, where do we go from here? This is where we were talking about like terms. I can't add 4x cubed and 5x squared because they're not like terms. So 4x cubed is a lonely guy. He doesn't have any friends, sorry. There's no other 4x, or sorry, there's no other x cubed. So that's going to stay 4x cubed. But I do have two that have x squared, so I can combine those guys. So 5x squared plus 8x squared is going to give me 13x squared. Okay. Next, I have two that have x's. Those are like terms. So negative 7x plus 10x is going to give me positive 3x. And last but not least, I have the minus 14 on the back. If there was something else that didn't have a variable, it would be like terms with that. But in this case, that's the only one. And that is how you multiply those. All right. Hope this made sense. If you need some more examples, I will link a playlist for you. Thanks.